This video is about the multiplication of fractions. It is very easy to multiply fractions. The main important point is to multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fractions together. So looking at example 1, you can see that it is 3 times 10 over 15. So this 3 can really be considered as 3 over 1. So you multiplying the numerators together, we have 3 times 10 is 30 and 1 times 15 is 15. So 30 divided by 15 is basically 2. Moving on to example 2, we have two fractions. One is minus 8 over 9 and the second fraction is minus 13 over 18. So multiplying the numerators together, we have minus 8 times minus 13 will be plus 104. The reason being a negative number multiplied by a negative number gives a positive number and the answer for the denominator is 162. So 104 over 162. This can be simplified further. When it is simplified further, it you can see that 104 can be written as 52 times 2 and 162 can be written as 81 times 2. So these twos can be get cancelled and 52 can be written as 13 times 4 and 81 can be written as 9 times 9. So this cannot be simplifi simplified further because we cannot see any common factors in both the numbers. So the final answer for minus 8 over 9 times minus 13 over 18 is 52 over 81. The next example that we are going to look at has got two fractions. One fraction is negative and the other one is positive. So multiplying the the numerators together you have minus 10 times 4 which is minus 40 and 12 times 6 which is 72. So this can be written as minus 40 can be written as minus 4 times 10 or 72 can be written as 6 times 12. So this can be uh, reduced as 4 goes in 12 thrice and 6 can be divided 6 and 10 have got common factors that is 2 so five, ten, 2 goes in 10 5 times and 2 goes in 6 3 times so your final answer is 5 over 9 minus 5 over 9 because there's a minus sign here 